Oops from Flavor of Love did a celebrity match with Natalie D from Mob Wives, okay? And let me tell y'all, Hoops is clearly nothing to play with. I mean, she's small and all, but she's also kind of brolic. And you can tell that she's one of them people who knows how to fight fight. Ever since her season aired over 10 years ago. And truth be told, it looks like she used to square up with Shaq's big ass. Like they used to wrestle for fun or something. Like she used to knock him down. I'm just saying. But with that said, clearly people noticed because a couple of folks dropped out before the big day. Almost last minute, leading up to Natalie D, who took it, but she was even getting cold feet as well. And she tough too. But Hoops kept telling her that she better not quit, like continuously on social media. Well, you guys, um, I don't know what Flip Flop Fair is going to do, but I still, no matter what, will be fighting. So either she's going to come, step up to the plate, or we're going to find another opponent. Either way, it's How about you can get a tag team partner? <laughs> yeah, if you need help in the ring, that's fine. You can just tag somebody in. It'll be me against you, too. It's fine. We can still make it happen. I'm trying to run. That fair is. And in case y'all are wondering, there are a couple backup fighters just in case she doesn't show. So, I don't know. We'll have fun with whoever's next. Needless to say, it happened on Saturday night, and Hoops won. But that was a no-brainer. And Natalie is currently blocking anybody on the gram who mentions it in a comical laughing manner that she lost. But all in all, this was done for a good cause in the name of anti-bullying. Kudos to them. This boxing match, I said, but the girl's so small. I don't, I don't even think it's fair. Like, it doesn't seem right. I'm going to feel bad hitting her. <laughs> Speaking of these topics, since we're here, Boonk Gang literally put paws and feet on his own cameraman, and it was unclear why at first, but he has since came through to explain why. Now keep in mind that some believe that if you look closely, not a single punch landed, and I'm not trying to be funny. But that's a good thing because maybe this wasn't really even a fight. Check it out. I get up, we walking out. I say, hey man, you need to lose your attitude. He said, you lose your attitude. I said, you the one who talking to me crazy. He said, I could talk to you like how, I, he said, I could talk to you however I want to talk to you. So then that's when I, that's when I walked up to him, put my hand in his face. I say, hey man, you gonna watch who the f you talking to. And then he pushed me. He said, I could talk to you however I want to, uh, back up. And I, 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 I shove my hand in his face. I, shove my, I keep shoving my hand in his face. I say, hey bro, watch who the talking to and he's still running his mouth so then he got so he got them paws put on him. if i reacted the way i reacted for some clout you know what i'm saying clout chasing i'd have posted the video myself you feel me but i ain't do all that i did all that because the nigga was disrespectful you know what i'm saying i'm a grown-ass man i'm not gonna let no other man disrespect me you know what I'm and i ain't even know i've been recorded at the time you know what i'm saying i know i ain't know about all that till after the fact the only thing running through my head is if this nigga keep on talking to me like this in front of all these people, I'm finna smack the fuck up out of them. Know what I'm saying? But I'm done.